What's up, y'all? My name is Rhino Spartan, and I am fulfilling a promise that I made in my Halo video saying I would upload my first ever Halo ring to the workshop if the video got 1,000 views. Yeah, that video has, um, at the time of recording this video, it has just over 11,000. It's currently my most viewed video ever. I didn't expect it to get that many views. Alright, this is my, uh, my old Halo ring. We all gotta start somewhere, don't we? Sometimes we start off slow, but eventually we can work our way up. I made this, I don't know, maybe eight, nine months ago. Really long time ago. Oh dear, the gravity generators are exposed. Yeah, I, I made this thing a very long time ago, and um, it's not to my, it's not the best, it's not really to my liking, but I wasn't very good at the game back then, and yeah, wasn't too good. Wait, oh dear. The width of the ring is 12 blocks, making the gravity generators not centered. Oh dear, that's not good. Got some uh, cryopods, not sure why I put those there. Okay, this is quite bizarre. Got some random turrets. I, I mean, I like Gatling turrets, but I don't understand why they're on a halo ring. Not really where they belong. That's the thing, like, the gravity generators are the same height, are on the same block level as the terrain, so I had to cover them up using steel catwalks. Yeah, I'm not so sure why I did that, but it is what it is. I'm not, I don't understand why there's so few trees. Oh, yeah, this was made before the frostbite update, so... Instead of using hinges, I used rotors. And, um, I don't think I locked them either, making this thing extremely unstable. Yeah, and, um, it will oh, dear me. Oh, dear. Oh, I remember this. I was having issues not being able to connect the two parts of the ring, so I used a piston and a landing gear. I could have at least filled out the blocks. I guess back then I didn't know that you could attach rotor heads to rotors. Really quite strange. Oh, I found a tree. It's a real fat tree, but it's a tree nonetheless. Definitely not as many trees as my other halo ring. Yeah, overall, it's, it's not really the best, but we all gotta start somewhere. Actually, I want to compare it to my uh, other Halo ring. Wow, that's a big difference. That's a very big difference. Like most of the panel, like that's the problem with my old Halo ring. It, like each panel is either ocean, snow, or its own biome. I didn't really combine biomes and terrain with water like I did on this new Halo ring. I'm not really sure why, but it is, again, it is what it is. And also, each panel is smaller, so gives the illusion that it's really round. And, uh, where's that? Uh, I ran into a similar issue with the gap. I'm trying to find it. Where is it? It would be, it wouldn't be like the other panels. Here it is. All right. For this one, I bridged the gap by making a new panel and used a hinge 
to connect it to, to the rest of the ring, making it barely noticeable. Oh, and that's another another thing I changed. I used uh, blast doors to fix the gap in between each panel. It's kind of noticeable, but it's much less noticeable in my in this ring than my other one. Now, if you want to play around with these rings yourself, the workshop links are down in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.